Welcome back everyone to another Diacon dissectional production hosted by Deathstroke9. Today we're going to be reacting to suicidal tendencies institutionalized. Oh, this sounds angry. Um, yeah, I haven't reacted to metal in a while, so we're coming back with some more metal. Yeah. All right. So this was actually a patron request from like a really long time ago, and uh, they requested a couple different things. And I don't know, like it caught my eye and I was like, I want to do that because I recognize the name of the um, of the group, but I uh, never got around to it. So I was just looking through my patron, uh, you know, messages or the DMs or whatever you want to call it and whatever it is called. And um, I saw it and I was like, OK, we're going to do this. So they actually sent me two different songs by this group. I think the other one was You Don't Bring You Can't Bring Me Down. And that sounds very familiar to me. Um, I'm not entirely certain if I've heard it before, but it sounds familiar. Like the, like, I don't know why, but it sounds like I've heard it before. Plus the name of the band is, sounds like something my dad probably has played for me at least once before. So, uh, yeah, there's that. But don't think I've heard this one before, so we're going to be checking it out. It's pretty short, um, but when I looked up the lyrics, there's like a, you know, I didn't really read them. We will when we're reacting, but let me show you. We've got so many words here for in a three minute long song so i'm excited for this um yeah they told me this is harder music let's do it all right also welcome to the channel if you're new here my name is daniel aka deathstroke 9 and here we react to music i try to figure out what the lyrics and the music mean to me personally and then we do research on the song at the end of every video so if that sounds interesting to you consider subscribing to the channel if you enjoy the content Thank you very much for joining me today. I'm going to act all calm, but then when I start listening to metal, I'm probably going to start just screaming. Not really, but let's go. Three, two, one. This is the official audio. Link to the original video is going to be down in the, just the, uh, the description. Sometimes I try to do things, and it just doesn't work out the way I want it to. And I get real frustrated. They're like, I try hard to do it, and I like take my time, but it just doesn't work out the way I want it to. It's like I concentrate on real hard, but it just doesn't work out. And everything I do and everything I try, it never turns okay. out. Okay. It's like I need time to figure these things out. There's always so I'm sorry, uh, we're restarting it. We're just starting back from the beginning. Um, okay. Yeah. I need to process that. There's so much like there's a lot of distorted guitar playing going on in the background. Alright, so the drums came in. That was awesome. And I start playing, and the chords actually sound pretty simple. And then in the background, we've got someone like just soloing. What is going on with his lyric, with his, with his singing though? So I'm hearing. We're gonna look at what he says, um, but I don't know his voice, a little whiny. Am I the only one who thinks that? Um, which isn't bad, obviously, but. Uh, I don't know, I wasn't really expecting it. You know, normally with groups like this, a lot of times you get very, very aggressive, you know, rah, or even worse, you know. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's interesting. It's like a change of pace a little bit. Um, and it makes sense, because it's angry music. You know, you would be like that person who has been, like, put down all the time, or who is perceived as a weakling this is your it's time for me to have the power you know um so yeah it's pretty interesting let's go for real this time uh i like it so far even though we've only listened to two seconds of it suicide tendency is institutionalized let's go yeah. sometimes i try to do things and it just doesn't work out the way i want it to and i get real frustrated they're like I try hard to do it, and I like take my time, but it just doesn't work out the way I want it to. Okay. It's like I concentrate on real hard, but it just doesn't work out. And everything I do and everything I try, it never turns out. It's uh. like, I need time to figure these things out. There's always someone there going, hey Mike, you know, we've been noticing you've been having a lot of problems lately, you know? You maybe get away, and like, maybe you should talk about it, you'll feel a lot better. I go, no, it's okay, you know, I'll figure it out. Just okay. leave me alone, I'll figure it out, you know, I'm just working on it myself. They go, well, you, you know, if you want to talk about it, I'll be here, you know, and you'll probably feel a lot better if you talk about it. So why don't you talk about it? I go, no, I don't want to, I'm okay. I'll figure it out myself. If they 
just keep bugging me. They just keep bugging me. There's bills on the side. It's got to be a suicide. So come and pray with one side. You will laugh and say, I'm afraid what you can see away. I'm not crazy. Here's the design. You're the one who's crazy. Here's the design. You're trying to be crazy. Here's the design. Let's take me in and it's just the same one. The only solution to give me need a professor. I'm just taking from the enemy myself. What the hell? In my room. Okay, I'm wait. Staring at the wall, thinking about it. Stopping it there. All right, that's where I'm stopping it. Then I'm not gonna pause it again. I need to look at these lyrics though. I'm sorry I didn't have them pulled up before. Um, so first off, I'm gonna say um, I've done metal music on the channel before, but not very much like this. And I know a lot of the people who are on my channel are more, um, probably uh, they're a lot older than I am. Uh, a lot of them are more progressive rock or singer storytellers. Um, who knows? Style. But we do many different types, many different styles on this channel. And um, yeah, if you, uh, I don't know. I'm not going to worry about it because I, uh, this is, this is, this is an epic song. Okay. Sometimes I try to do things and it just, it, this song kind of feels like um, an explanation of, how someone who has like a little bit of a, what people would call a learning disorder, although what is a learning disorder? Why are the things that we need to learn the things we need to learn? Why can't you learn different things? You know, like whatever. From the standardized learning, the standard of what people are supposed to learn at certain times, if someone's behind on that, you have a learning disorder. Or if someone's brain works through things in a different way than regular people, then they have a learning disorder or whatever. They're a unique person in that case, but because um, a lot of times those people are like really good at certain things, you know, like I um, guess you would say it's both a gift and a curse. Who knows? Um, it depends on how you look at it. And obviously that's me talking. Um, I personally, I do, as far as I know, don't have that type of, so that's, <laughs> That's someone... So take everything I'm saying with a grain of salt, okay? Because, yeah, I uh, I may have no clue what I'm talking about. All right. Sometimes I try to do things that just doesn't work out the way I wanted to. And I get real frustrated. I'm, I, I try hard to do it, and I, like, take my time, and it doesn't work out the way I wanted it to. It's like I concentrate on it real hard, but it doesn't work out. And everything I do and everything I try, it never works out. It's like, I need time to figure these things out. And there's always someone there going, Hey, Mike, you know, we've been ha we've been noticing you've been having a lot of problems lately. You know, maybe you should maybe get away and, like, maybe you should talk about it. You'll feel better. And I say, no, it's okay. I'll figure it out. Just leave me alone. I'll figure it out. You know, I'll just work it out for myself. And they go, well, you know, if you want to talk about it, I'll be here, you know. You'll probably feel a lot better if you talked about it. So why won't you talk about it? Oh, that is annoying. And I go, no, I don't want to. I'm okay. I'll figure it out myself. And they just keep bugging me and bugging me, and it builds up inside. You're going to be institutionalized. You'll come out brainwashed with bloodshot eyes. You won't have any say. They'll brainwash you until you see their way. I'm not crazy. Institution. You're the one who's crazy. Institution. You're driving me crazy. Institution. They stuck me in an institution, said it was the one solution, or the only solution, to give me the needed professional help to protect me from the enemy myself. Wow, that is dark as AF. <laughs> and he just starts, and, and he sounds like he does need, maybe, some type of help. Like he gets, like that ending right there, he, he's going, uh, how, how did he do it? It was like, it's like me in an institution. It was the most solution. Give me all the pressure off to make me feel me myself. You know, like sorry if the whole thing just started shaking. It was very like, hmm. But then again, I think that the people are causing the problem, and he's telling them to stop, and they're not stopping. Wow. <clears throat> all right, let's keep going. I'm not going to pause it again. Um, we'll talk about the lyrics more when we finish it. Three, two, one. Let's go. Uh, let's go. I was in my room, and I was just like staring at the wall, thinking about everything. Then again, I was thinking about nothing. 
And then my mom came in, and I didn't even know she was there. She called my name, and I didn't hear her. Then she started screaming, Mike, Mike. And I go, what? What's the matter? Okay. She goes, what's the matter with you? I go, there's nothing wrong, Mom. She goes, don't tell me that. You're on drugs. I go, no, Mom, I'm not on drugs. I'm okay. I'm just thinking, you know. Why don't you give me a Pepsi? She goes, no, you're on drugs. I go, Mom, I'm okay. I'm just thinking. She goes, no, you're not thinking. You're on drugs. No, no, people don't act that way. I go, so much anger in this. Wow. All I want is a Pepsi. And she wouldn't give it to me. All I wanted was a Pepsi. Just one Pepsi. And she wouldn't give it to me. Just a Pepsi. She was doing it with a knee. Wow, this is intense. Uh, I'm sitting wow. in my room. My mom and my dad came in. They pulled up the chair and they sat down. They go, Mike, we need to talk to you. Oh, God. I go, okay, what's the matter? We go, me and your mom, we've noticed lately you've been having a lot of problems. What are they going to say? You've been going off for no reason. And we're afraid you're going to hurt somebody. And we're afraid you're going to hurt yourself. So we decided that it would be in your best interest if we put you somewhere where you can get the help that you need. And I go, wait, what are you talking about? We decided my best interest? Oh How do you God. know what my best interest is? How can you say what my best interest is? What are you trying to say? I'm crazy. When I went to your school, I went to your churches. I just got chills. I went to your institution of learning. Say at the end there? Sam gonna get hit by a car? Wow. My perception of the song has changed a little bit. Like, I think I got it now. What he's trying to say. So let's let's just go through what we got after that. Um I was in my room and I was staring at the wall thinking about everything, but then again I was thinking about nothing. Then my mom came in. I didn't even know she was there. She called my name. I didn't even hear it. Then she started screaming, Mike, Mike. And I go, what? What's the matter? She goes, what's the matter with you? I say, there's nothing wrong, mom. She says, don't tell me that. You're on drugs. I say, no, mom. I'm not on drugs. I'm okay. I was just thinking, you know. Why don't you go get, why don't you get me a Pepsi? Okay, that's kind of demanding. Why don't you go get me a Pepsi? Like, it's not super demanding, but then his reaction is, yeah. All right, let's continue. Um... Mom, just give me a Pepsi. And he keeps saying, all I wanted was a Pepsi. She wouldn't give it to me. Just a Pepsi. All I wanted was a Pepsi. She wouldn't give it to me. They give you a white shirt with long sleeves tied around your back. You're treated like thieves. Drug you up because you're because they are lazy. It's too much work to help a crazy. I'm not crazy, institution. You're the one who's... Okay, repeat, repeat. Um, I'm sitting in my room and my mom and dad came in. They pulled up a chair. They sat down. They go, Mike, we need to talk to you. I, 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 I go, okay, what's, what's the matter? They go... Me and your mom, we've been noticing lately that you've been having a lot of problems. You've been going off for no reason, and we're afraid you're going to hurt somebody. We're afraid you're going to hurt yourself. That's the somebody, in case you didn't get that. Or it could have been somebody else. Who knows? We're just afraid, like, pain in general is going to come from you. Anyway, we decided it would be in your best interest if we put you somewhere where you could get the, the help that you need. I go... Wait, what are you talking about? We decided my best interest? How can you know what my best interest is? How can you say what my best interest is? What are you trying to say? I'm crazy? When I went to this part right here, changed the song for me. So beforehand, I was thinking that he actually had some type of... Hmm. So he's saying that the institutional learning facilities is what messed him up in the first place. And now people are all acting like it's his fault when it isn't. 
when I went to your schools, I went to your churches, I went to your institutional learning facilities, so how can you say I'm crazy? They say they're going to fix my brain, elevate my suffering and my pain, but by the time they fix my head mentally, I'll be dead. Repeat. This, this line right here, they stuck me in an institution, said it was the only solution. They give me the needed professional help to protect me from the enemy myself. People telling you you are the enemy, that's so messed up. Doesn't matter, I'll probably get hit by a car anyway. Institutionalized me, lyrics me. <sighs> All right. We're going to see what Song Facts has to add. Um, that was a very intense song. Wow. All right. This song is a spoken narrative from the viewpoint of a young person who lives at home and is constantly harassed by his parents. It's written by Suicidal Tendencies lead singer Mike, who told us not to use the Shrek onion layer analogy, but there's a lot of levels to it. For one, the stuff that had happened specifically to a couple of friends of mine. And at the time, there were a lot of those, I don't know what they call them, those boot camp things where parents would take would get their kids taken at four in the morning and send them off to these camps in Arizona or Idaho or whatever. The way I look at it and what I thought was here are people that were parents for 15, 14 or 15 years. They can't brag about their kids at a party so there must be something wrong with the kid. And they send them off and stuff. They used to have commercials. Does your kid get angry when things don't go their way? Do they do this and that? If you answer yes to three or more of these they might have a drug or alcohol problem and you're not alone. We can help. And I'm sitting there going, dude, I've never done drugs. I don't drink. And yeah, I get angry when things don't go my way. And it's called being human. I'm not a machine. I think it made an easy scapegoat for children to be the problem. And I think a lot of times it was lack of uh, parental skills and time happens. And it's a timeless thing. There will always be a generational gap, so to speak. That is all general generational gap it's all generalized because relationships are a lot more complicated than that a lot of times anyway let's continue not everyone gets the meaning behind the song he explains when i was younger a lot of my friends they said i hate my dad he'd come home drunk and beat them and do all that kind of stuff they'd say he's a he's a ah he's a drunk and they're saying they're drinking while they're telling the story and i go dude you're missing the point you're feeling sorry for yourself but don't become that person my dad always says if you see something that someone does and you don't like it, you're twice as bad if you're doing that. Yes, that's called hypocrisy. <laughs> and when someone does that, you have to sit there and go, nope, I'm not going to become that person. A lot of people have gotten the message. Other people are just like, hey, dude, I got Pepsi. Chalk it up to the source. Wow. Very interesting. Um... The song's video was one of the first by a hardcore band to get significant airplay on MTV. Oh, there's a video. Okay. Interesting. The song was a huge influence on Limp Bizkit, whose lead singer Fred Durst quotes it on their 1978 track Stuck, where he says, All I wanted was a Pepsi. Far from suicidal, still I get them tendencies. <laughs> of course he did. Man, Limp Bizkit. <laughs> All right. That was Suicidal Tendencies Institutionalize. Very powerful song. Very, there's a lot of interesting messages in there. Not sure I agree with all of them, but wow. How's that for an intense song? That was fun um, and also enlightening. All right. Uh, anyway, thank you for joining me. Sorry, um, this video is kind of long, so. All right. That's about all I've got to say. Thank you very much for spending some time with me. I'll trap you in an institution. One second. Before I go, I've got one last thing to say. I'm just going to say the lyrics so you can leave now if you want. Consider subscribing if you uh, enjoy the, the, the videos. They'll stick you in an institution, say it's the only solution, and give you all the professional help to protect you from the enemy yourself. Good song, wow. 